5 things we do today that will be barbaric in the future. Number 5. Manual driving. In the future, nobody will actually drive cars, planes, or probably anything else. True pilots will become the rarity. People in the future will look back at the days when we drove around, running into other people with our cars, and say that we were idiots. In the US, 40,000 people die from car accidents every year. Cars are virtual death machines, but we have to get places. We have things to do, and many of our jobs require a commute that's too long to walk or bike. So it's safe to say that we FLL always rely on some form of car. However, it's likely that future people will overcome the fatality of human error by using technology that's similar to a Google self-driving car. This pioneering technology has already been tested in the field for over 1 million miles with a surprising amount of success. Only one accident has been recorded that is the fault of a Google car, and it was a minor one. So it's not a big leap of logic to presume that this technology will start to dominate transportation in the future and the world of driving will be a safer place. Number 4. Using Toilets Throughout the thousands of years of humanity's existence, we've always had one constant the need to poop. We've dealt with this need in a surprising number of ways. In the old times, we'd take dumps in the forest and wipe with leaves, if at all. Those who were lucky would have a stream nearby to help them get clean. The less fortunate developed diseases from their uncleanliness. In the days of Rome, there were public restrooms where people would poop into a stream of water and wash their behinds with a cloth. Then the cloth got passed down to the next person. Recently, we've developed toilet paper and wet wipes. Although we like to brag about how clean we are, our toilets and need to wipe will be considered extremely unhygienic in the future. They FLL think of us as a primitive tribe who all defecate in the same hole in the ground. But if people in the future one FT use toilet paper or toilets, how will future people poop? It's a mistake to assume that they FLL even poop in the first place. Due to advances in biological sciences and genetically modified food, it's entirely possible that our food will be designed to be completely digested and we FLL have no waste to process. Thus, no poop. Even more likely, future toilets will be designed to do the whole process automatically for us. Thus, we FLL have no need to ever touch our own poop again. Number 3 labeling based on gender currently our society is in an uproar about gender we have males who want to be female females who want to be male and others who are in ft sure that they even want to belong to such archaic categorizations we have arguments over which gender gets paid more which gender is more entitled and all the other problems that go with labeling people into two camps as though we fur pitted against each other in the future it's likely that this problem will be a thing of the past. Through gene manipulation and advances in surgery, people will be able to modify their bodies as they see fit. The days of arguing over gender will be no more. Concepts such as male and female will become meaningless. That's not to say that we FLL be sexless, but gender 1FT divide us anymore because anyone will be able to become anything whether that's a multigendered person or a female turn male. Number 2. Governing with a two-party system. In the medieval ages, kings and queens ruled different parts of Europe. Now we look back at them and realize how wrong they were for letting unelected officials regulate every aspect of their lives. Today, we have democracy a gift from the Romans and the Greeks. Yet, despite all our success with it, we still act like children with our two-party system of Republicans and Democrats. Whether our recent elected presidents are Republican or Democrat, they always do the same thing, increase debt, decrease liberties, and lie about anything to sound nice. Einstein said that insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. So why do we continue to elect the same people from the same parties and expect different results like hoping that the economy will suddenly improve or that the endless wars will suddenly go away? 
Number 1. Fighting a war on drugs. In the name of justice, we imprison many people who take illegal drugs. We say that we free helping society by ridding it of low lives. Over 70% of America's current criminals are in prison for non-violent crimes, and over 50% are in for drug-related crimes. The majority of drug users take one of these four substances, marijuana, cocaine, methamphetamine, and heroin. Marijuana is a little kid's drug when compared to many drugs that don FT require prescriptions. Anyone who's used both alcohol and weed can testify to the fact that alcohol is the more dangerous substance. Yet one will land you in prison and the other one FT. Cocaine is a stimulant that increases energy and alertness. Think of an extreme version of coffee. Methamphetamine decreases appetite, induces a feeling of happiness, and increases energy. It's often used in pharmaceutical drugs for people suffering from obesity. Heroin is often used as a painkiller. Many patients receive it as medical care and Don FT become helplessly addicted. Yet, despite the harmlessness of these four drugs, the possession of these substances can and commonly does ruin thousands of lives because of our harsh laws against them. As we can already tell by the level of sympathy for marijuana and other drug users, the war on drugs will end someday. Nearly every state is projected to legalize marijuana in the near future. The future society will look back on this day and wonder how we were ever so cruel to people simply because we did not FD understand them. A person should be able to do whatever they want to their own body. It's basic morality.